Welcome back, everybody, to some more Octopath Traveler. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer, coming at you from the Fortress City of Everhold. We are here with Prim. Who is that? Oh, that's Cyrus. Oh my god, he, like, kind of combined with somebody else's hair, and I couldn't tell who he was. <laughs> We're with Prim, Cyrus, Therian, and Ophelia, along with our two traveling uh, companions, thanks to Prim and Ophelia's respective abilities. We're going to take on Prim's Chapter 4, which is the final Chapter 4 of the game. We have finally made it. We are about done with all the character stories. I'm, I'm still wondering if there's going to be a major story at the end of all these separate individual chapters, because it kind of feels like there needs to be, you know? There's this weird overarching story. Like, we found out that at the end of the last uh, chapter 4 we did, which is Alphans, we found out that the savior Alphan had come to admire from his youth, the one that saved him from dying, is a man ca called Graham Crossford. Now, the name kind of sounds familiar to me. I'm not entirely sure where it sounds familiar to me from, but I have a feeling it's a name I've heard from someone somewhere, possibly on another person's story. I, mm, I, I, I tried to look back at a couple of uh, different paths, like a bunch of people's beginnings and stuff. Like I looked at Tressa's, I looked at Ulbricht's, I looked at um, some Ethereum stuff to see if he was in there. N nothing. Yeah, uh, I have no idea. Also, before that, we did Hanit's Chapter 4, which was by far probably, like, the darkest, I think, so far, with the monster Red Eye. That thing used to be human. It also was the father of Kit, somebody we have met on our travels and have done side quests for, and who is currently hunting somebody down to f tell him the whereabouts of his father. So, I don't know, there there's a lot of, like, loose ends just kind of left. There is no way Kit is not involved in the main story somehow. And I don't exactly know how or why, but we're hopefully going to get some answers here. We need to avenge Prim's family. <laughs> it's why we're here. So we've come to Everhold in pursuit of Simeon, who revealed himself as the ring ringleader of the Crows. Here, you soon find that the stage has already been set. Set for what? I don't know. Maybe an epic tale of revenge. The story so far. In her hometown of Noblecourt. Primrose brought down the second of her sworn foes. There, she was also reunited with her childhood friend, Simeon. He approached her tenderly, yet what he bore was the gift of pain. Simeon's scarf unraveled, grasped in Primrose's fingers as she fell, laying bare the mark of the foul crow on his neck. The friend she cherished so dearly was the last of her foes. The man who had brought death to her father and ruin to her family. What motives could the man have for his vile deeds? Primrose could not even begin to imagine, but it mattered little, for her ultimate goal was clear. All would come to an end in Everhold. <clears throat> so this is the stage for the final act. Well, we've made it. God, look at this thing, it's a fortress. Ooh, this looks imposing. We need to storm the castle. I fear it won't be a happy ending for you, Simeon. Well, with that proclamation, let's get started. Ooh, but we do have banter. Well, this is quite the mystery. What is, Professor? I'm puzzled as to why there is a theater here, of all places. They took it upon themselves to refurbish an old castle. But I just can't fathom why. All that time and effort. Does it matter? At this point, I don't think that we should be too surprised by anything they do. Well, if you say so. In any case, we are in enemy territory now. We must proceed with caution. Certainly. Don't you fret about that, Professor. Well, I think he's right to be a little nervous. Oh, we got some more. Hey, how are you holding up? I'm fine. I can handle him. Well, if you say so. But that man's not just wicked. He's cunning, too. There's no telling what tricks he'll try to pull. You better be ready for anything. Thanks for the advice. I'll watch out. <laughs> what? It just occurred to me. I never thought that having companions would actually give me courage. Well, courage is all well and good, but so is vigilance. Don't let your guard down. I don't intend to. 
I'm looking forward to see what you can do as well. <laughs> I'll be sure to give you a show. Well, I mean, at the very least, Prim, you got a... You got friends on the journey with you. I guess that has to count for something, right? This is interesting. We're going straight into the... Oh, it's an amphitheater. That's what this is. It's not a castle. Looks like a castle. Ah, but our special guest has arrived. Welcome, welcome. Truly, fortune smiles upon me this night. The curtain is about to rise. I trust you will enjoy the show before you go on your way. Of course. I own this theater. I come from time to time to enjoy the crowds and the ambiance. Needless to say, I also pen the production we're putting on today. It's the tale of a young noblewoman's life. Not a particularly original topic, to be sure. But nevertheless, I did write it for you, Primrose. Lovely. How touching. I'm afraid I came for a different kind of show. <laughs> have you now? To have made it this far alive, it would seem you too have fortune on your side. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I do. But I think you will be feeling less fortunate when the night is over. Prepare to die, Simeon. <laughs> Such strong words. But I ask you, my dear Primrose, are you prepared for what awaits you? You have my deepest respect, Primrose. Truly, you do. It is not an easy road you have chosen, is it? You're wrong. I have only walked the path I had to walk. Oh. Oh, uh, now. Is that so? <laughs> Come but enough now. prologue. Let the show begin. What are we watching? Oh, hark unto the tale of a girl, pure and true, who in her all too fleeting life knew such misery as no other ever knew. Oh. Our daughter, our precious girl. Thank the heavens. She is healthy and whole. She has your look about her, my lord, and a cry as strong as your cry in battle. <laughs> this is good. She will need to be strong indeed. For the future of our house will one day rest upon her shoulders. <laughs> you ask too much of a newborn babe. It is no wonder she cries so. Quite right. We will raise her to be a fine lady. Strong, kind, and just. One who will treat all she meets with respect and compassion. Yes. We will. Hmm. When she is a woman grown, we will fashion for her the finest suit of armor. Oh. And the finest gown as well. She must stand out in the ballroom as well as on the battlefield, after all. So, Prim was supposed to be a soldier as oh well my. as a, a, a noblewoman? Weird. <laughs> Even in her smile, she takes after you, my lord. Yes, she will be a strong woman one day. What? What am I doing? I cannot let myself be distracted by this... this mockery. Hmm. Go to Simeon. We get some more travel banter. So let me grab this first. Plum basket. Thank you very much. So this character's story in the play... It's mine. In nearly every detail. Just as I thought. What is this Simeon thinking? Whatever it is, it's awful. Taking someone's memories and putting them up on the stage for all to see? It is. But he's a fool if he thinks I'm going to play it by his script. He won't get his way. Good. 
and I'm going to be right by your side to make sure of it. Thank you, Ophelia. Upon my faith, it is good to have friends to lend me my strength. Well, I mean, you know, Prim, you're definitely not Therian, but you are a little closed off to people. So this is a good thing that you're willing to trust. Uh, theater etiquette part two. Please refrain from excessive consumption of food and beverages in the theater. Patrons who fail to maintain appropriate standards of tidiness when eating will be subject to immediate expulsion by the others. This is so true. Oh my god. You <laughs> oh god. Some of you might not be able to appreciate that, but being a, being, being a performer myself, like, hearing people eat and drink things in the theater while you're up there performing, like, constantly. Oh! Oh, it's a pain in the ass. It is truly, truly a pain in the ass. Uh, part three, please refrain from engaging other patrons in combat that adversely affects the enjoyment of others. Okay, hold on. Patrons whose fisticuffs obstruct the view of those around them will be subject to immediate expulsion by the ushers. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, hmm. That's a very... Blah, blah, blah. No, I want the item. Game, go back. I want the item. Thank you. At your service. This is the way to the second floor. Well, I will be uh, taking advantage of that. Thank you very much. Is there... Where's the Where's the dude who gave us part one? Is he outside? I'm actually not entirely sure. You! Good day to you. Yes, I bet it is you. Who's part one? Is it you? It is. Please remain quiet. Patrons who do not maintain appropriate chance standards of behavior will be, you know, thrown out. Ooh. Hold on, there's a treasure that has appeared on the map. We need to go... <laughs> we need to collect this. Because who knows, it could be useful. All the way down here. By the item shop. Actually, you know what this reminds me? I think I do need to pick up some stuff. Uh, we got grapes. Could probably do with buying a couple more bunches of stuff. So we'll get to 45 of those. We'll get to... 50 of those. It should be good. We'll buy five more olives of life. You know what? Screw it. We'll buy 20. We got crap tons of money anyway. Some more of those. Some more of these. We'll buy out the shop in... Purifying seeds? Do I actually want purifying seeds? No. I want ruinous seeds. And now I'll take some purifying seeds because I have the room for it. Alright, good. We're, we're good to go. I, I know we don't have Alfin with us, but I bet we'll still want to use him and his abilities later on, so it's a good idea to pick some of those up while we can. Because I was running low on a couple of those things, especially the, um, the items to attack things with. Those ruinous seeds and potent seeds and all that other stuff is, uh, it's kind of good to have a bunch of them on hand. Since we have all this money and we don't know what to do with it, we might as well spend it, right? Alright, let's do this. So we're starting here. Ooh, cannot go down those stairs. But there's a staircase we can go up. Aha! Therian, do your shit. Ethereal Dancer Garb. Now what the hell is this? Ooh, look at that evasion boost. And finally, some physical defense boost. And elemental defense, this is this is amazing. That's perfect. <laughs> Prim, congrats, you finally have an armor upgrade after so goddamn long. Good for you, my friend. You you deserve it. Now let's go up these stairs. Not entirely sure what we're gonna be fighting up here, too. I would imagine just a bunch of uh assassin -y type people. I didn't go to that side. You know what? I'll double back. I'll double back and check it out. Let's just take a quick look at the other side. I'm sure there's a chest or something I want to pick up here. Yeah, like there's one over there. Doesn't look like it's anything important though, but I will get it nonetheless. What's in here? Aha! See, I knew there'd be stuff in here. Eh, just money. Money is, uh, money is good, don't get me wrong, but still. It's not the most important thing to be picking up. There is no choice. Hello there, new enemies. Hmm. What do we have here? Out of my way. 
Ice Curator Mark II's and Ice Sentinel Mark II's. Huh. How do we want to deal with these guys? I suppose a level slash from Therian here is just what the doctor ordered for the most part. But unfortunately, it looks like these guys have managed to... Hmm. Escape... Escape Judgment Day. Well, I also had a feeling that... <laughs> Uh, they'd be weak to fire, which is good to see. You've got ice. That's right, you're an apothecary. Hmm. Well, I suppose we could just try axes. I'll slice through you. Axes are not the answer. My turn now. What about bows? Ha! Ha ha! Genius. All right, good. We figured it out. Bows it is. How do we want to deal with this? Because I get the feeling these guys are not going to die. Not easily, at least. I don't... It actually does decent damage. Decent enough damage, at least. What next? And Cyrus can finish him off. Good! Alright. Worked out quite well. And Ophelia hit level 50. Good for you, Ophelia. I think we're just about at the point where we could probably go back and fight those, uh... Those, those, those special... Enemies with the extra classes we can take. And I definitely think after the end of Prim's Chapter 4, we can go ahead and do that. I'm also at the point where putting Tressa back in the party on a more... Uh, long-term basis is not a bad idea either. <laughs> Everybody is finally catching up to her in levels. I think Therian will be the first one to hit level 51 in the party outside of Tressa. And that's a, that's a momentous occasion in my book. <laughs> Seriously is. Alright, new room. And there we have it. Good old Therian is now level 51. It has happened just as I predicted. All according to Keikaku. Alright, well, what's up these stairs? We have more rooms. The, the green symbol on the minimap is basically telling me to go back to town. So I'm assuming this is going to lead us straight back to the upper level of wherever Simeon is. It's burning plum. They're actually really kind of getting to the point with this chapter. It's kind of interesting. There's no, like, story. There's no exposition or anything really happening in the beginning. It's just all run forward, go take care of Simeon, and uh, call it good there. You know, to the point way. that I think I actually just want to—I just want to kill these guys. I'm not even gonna wait. Level slash. These dudes have been like really easy at murdering for the most part. Over here. As I can just go ahead and do this. Yeah, Prim gets to move next, so. Huzzah to the ice wind! <laughs> Huzzah to the damage! I am ready. Yeah, I should just use. I should just use his multi-hitting moves. His his SP regeneration is so good that with SP saver on, he gains back more SP than he actually uses. He he'll never run out. He's a he's a living breathing battery at this point of SP. There's no way for Cyrus or Ophelia for that matter to really run out of SP. Out of my way. Not not you know seriously. Uh, let's give them all a level slash. Hit him. Hit him a little hard. It's good. Cyrus can go to town with a nice lightning blast or something. And murder them all. See? Easy peasy. The fights in this place are relatively simple for the most part. Oh, and Cyrus is super close to leveling up. He himself is super close to hitting level 50. Ooh, is this actually it? R really? We Are we actually at the fight right now? Huh. I'm not entirely sure. If this is, this is really, really fast. Father? Look. Look at me. <laughs> Father, look. Look at me. Very good. Why, however, did you learn to dance so gracefully, my little lady? 
I have been practicing for you, Father. I see. Is that so? And you have scraped your knees. Show me. You've been practicing long and hard. This I can see. Primrose. Forgive me. For what, Father? Oh. I have been too hard on you, my daughter. Burdened you over much with my expectations. Mm -hmm. Do not worry, worry for me, Father. I'm strong. And I will do anything for the glory of House Easelheart. That is what I believe in. My reason for being. <laughs> you are a strong girl, Primrose. You do our family proud. But someday you must find a cause of your own. A cause that will bring you happiness. I will always love you, Primrose. Father. Oof, that's kind of hard. Enough of this. I must keep moving. I suppose so. Is there actually like another section of this uh, place? Ooh, actually, it looks like it. Oh, so that's not the well, whole Matt. dungeon. The west stairs lead to the first floor seats. The east stairs are reserved for our most distinguished guests. Oh, really? I'll keep that in mind. Undeniable allure. Uh, do not lose your way within the theater. Patrons who wander onto the stage accidentally or intentionally will be subject to immediate expulsion. <laughs> oh my god, what, what is with all these rules and guidelines, dude? I, I don't understand what the purpose of them all are. Can I actually bring you with me? I could, if I so chose to. I could guide them as well. Uh, thieving tips and tricks. All the guidelines for theater etiquette. Just remember them all. Just do it. Don't even question it. Just, just do it. Alright, well, I suppose we are now moving into, uh, section two. Oof. Alright then. Section two of the dungeon. That's interesting. I don't think we have had a place that has had, uh, multiple areas to it. Most places we've been to have only ever had two screens. The screen you enter, and then you transition one screen to the screen where the boss is. That has been kind of the whole basis of everything. Oh, it, unless this is it. I'm like terrified that this very well could be it. But we'll save real quick again. Uh. Oh, crap. I thought that was me. Father, no. Why did you have to die? Why did you leave me? Oh, woe is me. However am I to go on without you? Uh, I have only done as my convictions bade me do. I have no regrets. Oh? I thought you might say something like that. You're making this delightfully easy. Father! Uh huh. Oh, poor Prim. You took my father from me. I'll not forgive this. And for that, Simeon, you will pay. Oh, father. Hmm. Little lady, why do you cry so? No matter how dark the night, look to the stars and carry hope in your heart. You are... Oh, who are you? What is this? Did that actually happen, Prim? Were you approached by someone? I'm coming for you, Simeon. My journey is nearly over. It all ends tonight. Alright, well, we only have a little bit left to do. 
Grab this, get a bright stone. And take a look at in here. What do we got? Nothing! <laughs> Great. Uh, oh, what's this? Am amphitheater balcony. Ah, uh, ye, yeah. wh- Huh? Wait, were we here before? No, this is, um... This is the, still the second floor. Aha! Uh -huh. Are we on here? Revitalizing jam. Alright, I'll take that too. See no reason not to. This Ooh, hello! More new enemies! What do we got? They look like light guardians. Are they light guardians? Or are they... Yep, light curator mark twos. I bet I know what they're weak to! <laughs> Night Just like everything else with a light shade. elemental, it's weak to dark. <laughs> right there, and it's your turn. Uh, give him a level slash. Break those two. We missed those two in the front, though. Over here. If they're the same as everybody else, though, they're probably weak to spears. Well, would be my guess. Then why don't we? Uh, actually, we don't really have much of an option with you, do we? I mean, we could just attack with a bow. But I don't really see a reason to do that. So let's just hit him with a firestorm. We'll kill those lanterns in the back if we can. My turn now. Meanwhile, Ophelia, you, you have the arrow storm. I am ready. All right, Prim. Ah! Let him have it. Therian, except I think I'll have you steal SP. I appreciate it, really. There we go. So you're all set for when this fight's over. And I get the feeling we're probably going to kill them all right about now. May the sacred place shine forth. There we go. That's three dead. One to go. Uh, give him a trade win. Win in our sails. There we go, that's good. So, <laughs> Cyrus is a single target magic spell in his wind magic right now, which I suppose is relatively helpful. All right, well, that takes care of that little engagement. And it got Cyrus to level 50, which is also good. So the only one who needs any amount of healing is... Prim needs some more SP, and Ophelia's missing, like, 200 HP. So nothing really too crazy. All right, Energizing Pomegranate, thank you very much. So, I can only assume the boss fight is literally just on the other side of this door. So we're going to call this good here. The episode might be a little bit on the short side, depending on what I have to cut out and what I don't. But I uh, hope you guys understand. Next time on Let's Play Octopath Traveler, we will go through that door. We will finally face down Simeon and avenge Prim and her family. It's been a long time coming, but it's finally about to happen. Thanks all for watching. This is The Musical Gamer signing off. I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys then.